In the largest museum in the world, Italian painters have pride of place in the Grand Gallery, a collection that has had to make some room for prestigious artworks from the Capodimonte Museum. By intermixing the work of the two institutions, the exhibition Naples in Paris becomes the largest show ever devoted to the Italian Renaissance. The effect is so surprising, and I find that interesting. I'm overjoyed because I get to see the Bellini from Capi de Monte that I didn't get to see because the Capi de Monte is too big. And I know the Louvre well, so that's lucky. I find the juxtaposition innovative and interesting. The Capo de Monte Museum in Naples is undergoing a facelift. Currently closed to the public, the museum has lent 70 major works, including this Baroque porcelain sculpture, the largest in the world. Also quite fragile, it's never left Italy before. The museum has also entrusted the Louvre with its star piece, the Flagellation of Christ, signed by Caravaggio. Caravaggio has become almost a rock star of Baroque painting. His name is the most beloved and well-known. Our era identifies more with Caravaggio than, say, Raphael. Other exceptional treasures, this box from the 17th century. Paintings by Francesco Mazzola and Artemisia Gentileschi, one of the first women to be recognized for her artistry. But the painting the Louvre's curator is most excited about is this crucifixion by Masaccio. There are no works by the Italian artist in the museum's permanent collection. The loan from the Capo di Monte makes it possible for us to fill one of the gaps in the Louvre for six months. It's been an obsession in the painting department for the past 50 years to be able to hang a painting by Masaccio finally to complete the collection. We don't have any of his works, but we're very happy with the loan from Capo di Monte. The exhibition will run for six months, and it's considered one of the summer's blockbuster shows.